Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Brad Roberts. I'm the director of the Center for Global Security Research at Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. This is uh, today the latest in our series of Meet the Author sessions. These are relatively brief introductions to new publications that we're posting at our website. And it's my pleasure to welcome today Dr. Bruce Goodwin, who's a senior fellow at uh, the Center for Global Security Research and the author of a new occasional paper of the center entitled Nuclear Weapons Technology 101 for Policy Wonks. Bruce, thanks for joining us today. Glad to. Thanks for your good work on this uh, publication. Please, please give our listeners a, a little information about your background. Okay, well, um, as a doctoral student, I worked in the astrophysics of stellar collapse and this is a very, very naturally led me to work on nuclear weapons technology. I did become a nuclear weapons designer at Los Alamos National Laboratory. And then I had the opportunity to work with the world's leading designer, Seymour Sack, uh, at Livermore. And so I came here to Livermore. Now, uh, eight years ago, I stepped down from leading the Livermore nuclear weapons program and came to CGSR as a senior laboratory fellow to help in the education of future policy experts, nuclear weapons policy experts. And that's uh, how I got here. Excellent, thank you. Could you give us a little bit of a background on, on the genesis of this work? What, what led you to write this paper? Okay, well, in, in working with the students and postdocs at the center, it became apparent to me that the new generation of what I call nuclear policy wonks had very little exposure to the technology underlying nuclear weapons development. And, uh, and so the pro and proliferation, not just development. And so they didn't understand the underlying technologies that lead one to developing nuclear weapons policy. I work with this new generation of policy experts to be able to apply that knowledge to policy development. Great, thanks. Can you give us a feel for the scope of the paper and what are its main conclusions and or implications? Well, I'd say that the message of this book is that technology very much matters. It very much determines the what and how of deterrence and proliferation. Now, the book covers all of the technology, not just little boy and fat man, uh, it, it, the technology from little boy to the stockpile stewardship of today. Now, fortunately, if you use everyday language to explain science and technology, to explain what the technical language means, then the science and technology are reasonably simple to understand. Um, technology has responded to the policy needs of each era since the nuclear era began. And I believe that the wonks need to understand the tech and how it changed over time in response to policy and how policy has responded to new technology. It is not enough to understand fat man and little boy. You have to understand the development of the H-bomb, the subsequent and very important miniaturization of the H-bomb and the development of intrinsic nuclear weapons safety along with the end of testing and the advent of science-based stockpile stewardship. They need to understand this if, tech, if policy is to be developed and adapted in the future. So this is a very valuable publication and I, I think it, it, it achieves those aims admirably. Thank you. you. You've been a great mentor to the center's younger staff. In your experience, what makes them so interested in nuclear weapons today? <laughs> well, uh, you know, I think what makes them interested in nuclear weapons is the realization that we've had a very long piece, as Gaddis put it, um, essentially 75 years of peace without a world war, largely because of nuclear deterrence. Um, and there is probably nothing more important than the main maintenance of that peace, and therefore the sustainment of the deterrent. And I believe that this is what brings them to it. For me, <laughs> the technology is what's most fascinating, though. The, the implication of that technology is clearly also very important to me. All right, thanks. So this is just intended to be a quick introduction to the author and, and an emerging piece of work. 
Uh, Bruce, let me ask if there's anything you'd like to add in closing. Well, I, I think what's important, at the, what makes this timely at this point in time is that we are at a moment of generational change. Uh, the baby boom is retiring, and that is the last generation that developed and tested nuclear weapons. Before this change is complete, we as a nation, I believe, need to ensure that, the, that their knowledge, history, and expertise is handed off successfully. And that time is very much now. That's what's motivated me to, uh, to write this little booklet. Great. Well, thank you for doing so. Uh, and I encourage all of you to visit our website uh, and uh, download the product or when we're back in the face-to-face -face business to come by the center and pick up a hard copy. Bruce, and, and thank you very much. If, could, I, could I say one more thing? I'm sorry. Of course. I would like to encourage people who read this to, uh, to give me feedback to respond to me, give me their thoughts. If there are ways to make this better, to do this better, I think that it's very important to hear what they have to say. So please feel free to contact me at the center about this publication. Great, a good closing note, Bruce. Thanks very much. Thank Thanks you. Thanks to all of you for your interest. And at this point we stand adjourned. Thanks very much.